Hi, I'm Jeff and you're watching a walkthrough of the Quench Proof of Concept. I'm going to start by showing off the credits here. Uh, this game was created by myself, Jeff Rose, Tabby Rose, Christina Newman, Albert Fung, James Zinger, Bill Nyman, and last but not least, Marty Burney. Uh, you can skip to 40 seconds in the video, get straight to the gameplay, but uh, looking at the controls, the basic thrust of this is just that these four icons represent the weather powers available to the player, and I'll be using these a lot throughout this demo. So uh, why don't we get started? This first level is basically a tutorial on how to use the rain power to help your herd stay alive. So starting off, these elephants are going to take a bit of a rest and uh, we're going to talk a little bit to introduce things. You can see this conversation panel has appeared. Uh, the important thing here is that animals graze. They eat grass and they need that to be healthy and so you can use the rain power to grow grass on the ground to help them along. And furthermore, you can use the wind power to tell them when to move. So I'm going to use wind to set them on their path and they'll follow along through these waypoints that you can see here. Now since the ground is uh, dry right now, I'm going to use rain a couple of times and you can see the land wetting over there and some water pooling on the ground. Uh, and before long, you'll see grass growing up uh, as it did around that tree when I rained there. So you can see the grass that they're walking on top of. Uh, the idea of this is that when they're walking over grass, their stamina uh, doesn't drain as quickly as if they were walking through like a dry and exposed area. And furthermore, when they arrive at a waypoint, their stamina replenishes quickly. So we're going to move on from here. I'll win them again and uh, drop a couple more rain effects over in this area so that they have something more to eat. Uh, lastly, I'm going to use the wind power to hurry them along, since you can also use wind to increase the speed of your animals temporarily. So this level's complete, and uh, we can move on to the next. This level is a demo in how to use the quake power to remove barriers and create chasms for water to drain into. So in this level, you can't use your rain power, so instead you have to find alternate ways to provide water to the trees that heal your herd's stamina when they, uh, when they rest at them. So uh, Shaman pointed us to this, this rock dam here, which I'm going to break with the, quench or the earthquake power, and you can see the water drain down into that basin. I'm going to move my herd along so that they... Uh, they move over to this waypoint tree here, which just suddenly greened up because of the water that had fallen out of the dam. Uh, water spreads dynamically through the terrain, and so you can provide water to things that need it by supplying it through any source, rain or otherwise. Uh, but sometimes water is a problem. You can see from the footprints that they're going to move on and make a crossing through this river, and that that series of cracks right here is something that I can drain that water out through. Now having used that to green that tree up already, I've gotten what I wanted out of it. Now I need to make sure that that water isn't in my way. So I'm going to tell my herd to move on and I'm going to use Quake to break that chasm open. So you can see the water draining out into the ground. Um, and actually I may have left this a little bit too long since I can see my Elephants are kind of struggling to get across. Swimming is generally not a good thing. Uh, if animals have to swim, they deplete stamina very quickly and get distressed by the whole thing. Um, but it seems like I've done well enough because all of them made it. I'm going to move on to the next level. This level is a tutorial on how to use lightning and describe some of the enemies in the game. So in this level, you would normally, they would normally be taking this shortcut path through here, but it has been blocked by a rock slide, so you can see that this area is no longer available to pass through. Um, so we're going to tell them to move on, and uh, you can see over on the left here uh, an enemy, and I'll go take a look at him once I help them along get to this tree. All right, so smoke beasts are these black creatures sort of spewing smoke out from them and they are very dangerous to the herd. 
Uh, they cause your animal animals to flee. Um, somewhat not paying attention to anything else and so they can spread your animals out and endanger them by reducing their stamina very quickly you can use the lightning power to to disperse them but they don't stay gone for long uh, i'm going to tell them to move ahead and i'll put some rain down but you can see that that one that i just uh, used the lightning power on has already respawned um, and so i'm going to leave it just so that you can see uh, when they pass through the herd, like, your herd scatters, and they take a significant amount of stamina loss out of this. So, uh, I'm in a pretty dangerous place right now. Um, I'm very close to a situation where one of my animals might not make it. And, oh man, that one spawned kind of at a bad time. And, in fact, I actually hit one of my own elephants with lightning. Um... Pro tip though, you can use lightning to revive your animals. Um, we consider it sort of a divine defibrillator. And, oh man, this is rough. Uh, okay, so I finally reached the end, but uh, yeah, that's right. I only have seven of my animals surviving, so I didn't quite get there perfectly. Well, anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is the end of our demo. Thanks for watching.